Nice to have Filipino authors participating in that. Cecilia Manguera Brainard is an award-winning author of eight books, including the internationally acclaimed novel, When the Rainbow Goddess Wept. I read some of your novels. Very, very nice. And we've had her before on the show, so this is what, the second, third time? This is the second that, time, Janelle. That you're Thank you so us. much for having me. Thank you for making time for us. Oh, and for making time for Festival of Books. You're a Filipino author. How difficult is it to be a Filipina who's writing, because we all know our tradition really, it, it, we're, we have this oral tradition and we're not li really a culture that's right. literature right. based. Um, actually for all writers, it's difficult. Mm. Um, there, you, people get breaks and you, you make it happen. It's generally a passion for most writers. And so, uh, you know, if you try and try hard enough, right. you're going to get what you want. I mean, I've noticed that because uh, I, I, I do get some books, uh, submissions from different Filipino authors also yes. wanting me to review their books. And I notice that Filipino authors, I guess you can't take that out of them, the culture. And yes. so it shows bits and pieces of maybe like one or two Tagalog words or even the perception from where they're looking at it, the point, the angle from where they're telling the story. Is that, is it difficult? I'm thinking it might be difficult to transcend that because this is a niche, it becomes a niche for you, for you guys to be writing about Filipino stuff. Well, for most Filipinos or Filipino American authors, they do want to explore experiences that they have been through or that are real to them and so therefore they're going to look at their Filipino experience or Filipino American experience. That is more powerful I guess because that's what you experience and so you're, you're able right. to put that right. into writing. I mean it's your material. Right. For but your how art. do we encourage more of our Kababayans to start reading? Do uh, you find that more are reading now? You know I should probably say that I think that they are. Yeah, with the iPad, the Kindle, and all that. Does yes, that help yes. at all? Um, I mentioned this because I had a book project, and I think we talked about it last time, Growing Up Filipino, one, a collection of short stories about young adults, and I followed it up with a second book project, Growing Up Filipino 2, and our young people are reading them, and not just young people. Um, the older folks are buying them, reading them, and giving them to the young people. So I guess social media has also improved the landscape of, uh, you know, literacy, among Filipinos? Is that I, I, I think that all these new things we have now, internet and this new um, fast and quick communication has also encouraged and made it very available now. Kindle. Right. Kindle. And I guess it's easier for you guys as authors to collaborate, which brings me to my next question. Angelica's Daughters is one of the books, and this is quite new to me. I don't know if it's been there before. You call it the Dugtungan novel. What does that mean? What's the concept behind that? Dugtungan means connecting. Mm -hmm. So it's a connecting novel, meaning there are several authors who have participated in the creation of this book. Um, in the 1920s, this was actually a very popular literary genre in the Philippines, believe it or not. Mm. And there were five of us r women writers, Filipinas, who had for a long time been working, um, we, we were sharing work and critiquing So work. what happens, um, you write a chapter and yeah, then you exactly. email it to everybody, whoever wants to pick up will write something else? No, we had a schedule. Okay. And so I would write a chapter and it would go to the next person. So and the person b before you start something like this, is it clear to all of you who the characters will be and what the plot will be? Or no. does it evolve as you go on? Um, Ooh, we exciting. had a general kind of idea that we wanted to write a light uh, romance, uh -huh. uh, historical, and then we had a kind of, we didn't even know who our characters were, right. but we knew it would be a romance, and somebody started it, Veronica Montes, right. and so she wrote about Tess, and it was passed on to the next person, and then uh, that person put sent Tess from San Francisco to Manila. Are you able to add to each other's, let's say, uh, you know, some, uh, an author started it, can you add that, you know, she's like that, or, you know, so that it ties in? quickly uh, with my chapter? In the beginning we did not. Okay. We, d we did not touch okay. what we had, but when we were in the editing process we had to smooth it out, and how, yes we did. How exciting. Go ahead and invite fun. our viewers. You have two events uh, going on this weekend. Yes. Authors um, Night and Festival of Books. Philippine Expressions has Authors Night, and that will be Friday. Uh, from 5 to 9, and please contact uh, Linda Nietas, Philippine Expressions. Um, it, you are very welcome. That's a number on the screen, cool. and all the Filipino authors will be there. It should be interesting, especially if you're thinking of a career in this uh, industry. And also, Festival of Books That's happening. Saturday, we'll be signing at the booth of Philippine Expressions, 024, I believe. At, this year, it's being held at USC. Yes. And uh, Veronica Montes and I will be signing from 11. 30 to 3:30. There will be other authors, and that is the information on the screen. Thank you 
so much and Thank more you, power Janelle. to you. We still Appreciate have entertainment it. news for you and immigration update also when we return. Don't go away.